Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Sean Griswold, Eastern Sales Manager with Malibu and Axis Boats. I'm here on Watts Bar Lake today to take you through the all new 2019 Axis A22. So starting off in the bow, you're probably noticing that it's much bigger. Well it is, it's 17% bigger. Gives you and your family plenty of room, hang out and be comfortable. I'm over six foot tall, legs all the way stretched out. You also notice we have soft grip on this wider nose. So if you want to dive in, don't have to worry about slipping off. Just like the T22, move the batteries from the OB to the bow, gives you more storage in the OB. We also integrated storage for the wind dam. I'm sitting here at the helm of this all new A22 and there's a few things I want to point out. First off, this adjustable steering wheel. Gives you the ability to make it comfortable for drivers of all different heights. Next, let's take a look at the stereo. You'll notice right away, we've got a volume knob. We've also added zone control. So if you want to crank the volume up for someone riding on the tower speakers, you can, and turn the volume down in the boat. The glove box has been redesigned to give you increased storage and better visibility. I'm here today with Brian Dolly, industrial designer for Malibu Boats and Axis Wake Research. We're standing in this brand new 2019 A22. Brian, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what inspired you to make some of these changes in the boat this year? Sure. Um, some of the inspiration that we pulled from Audio 19 uh, really went back and re-merchandised what the Axis product needs to be. Um, we did more focus uh, benchmarking a Ford Raptor truck, for example, on some of the billet hardware. Uh, some of the upholstery tie-ins, um, we went and benchmarked a lot of Nike Pro Combat football uniforms where you pick up pin line colorways. Um, some of the other design elements, um, just making it a more youthful appeal to the product line overall. Brian, I'm looking at the interior on this A22 and it looks incredible. So tell me a little bit about what we've changed. Sean, you're correct. There are a lot of mod year changes that we did on Axis product. One of the most standout that we did for the brand itself is to allow full monotone build out on the upholstery colorways. Uh, we untied some of the panels that were previously tied together as colorway specs before. Um, we opened up what would be the welt or bead construction, so that's a full colorway selection as well now. Um, and then you can do a full base color on all of the interiors as well. So you're telling me we could have all vapor blue everywhere if you want it? Yes, you can. I like it. Yep. Part of the design criteria that we had for the Axis home seat for this year is um, actually putting it in line with the rest of the design language that we had for the Axis product. Um, you know, big and bold, really celebrating the Axis brand. Uh, we go into a thermal form panel on the back side, with nice large Axis logo as well on it. Um, you can rotate the helm seat around, locks in with the lock position. Um, you know, the new helm seat design actually features the same ID as what we had on our previous helm seats, but it's really narrowed up, so it's less, um, you know, aesthetically heavy. Um, but the ergonomics is still the same as what we had before. Um, as you walk around here, you're going to notice that the helm seat ergonomics are pretty similar to what we had before, just a little bit more streamlined. Um, we actually removed some of the bolster panels on the outside, so you can you can flip around like this and interact with people in your boat as you're you know sitting around. Um, you can also have the swivel option for access products, so it allows you to swivel around as well with no combing panel interference. Hang out with everybody in the boat. Um, you can flip that back around again, and then we also have an optional flip-up bolster on Axis product from Auto Gear 19. It puts you up another six inches or so as you're driving, so it's a little bit more visibility as you drive. Brian, while you're sitting there, one thing I noticed, this vinyl, it looks and feels totally different from what we had last year. Is that true? It is. So from Auto Gear 19, we switched spec on the upholstery. Uh, what you're going to notice on our accent panels is we've gone to a more aggressive, modern feel. Uh, embosses it's called, and then what are our base material, which would be your main drivers or your three colorways, um, is gone to a more pebble grain, less oily look. Really, really bringing the Axis product to a more satin finish and more modern feel. Brian, I noticed that in this A22 we have the sliding skybox seat like we had in the A24 and the T22 last year. I was playing with it earlier and it seems to lock in really well and it, it, it actually feels like it might slide a little bit easier. Is that true? For model year 19, we actually spec the track material to be a Delrin plastic. This plastic allows the uh, materials to slide efficiently without any drag. And because it's a self-lubricating plastic, it actually allows the seat to have no bind, no issues throughout the lifetime of the product cycle. I also noticed we've got some, some brackets down here. I'm guessing that's for the seat backs? Yep, so for model year 19 on this new slider seat, we actually have an optional seat back. The seat back is held here in your port and starboard aft compartments. You're gonna fly over here, you're gonna pull the pin, it's gonna pop right out. 
We're gonna notice is an aluminum insert billet part. You're just gonna take it, pull the pin again, kind of goes like that, and then you're just gonna take that and slide it into that keeper. Sean, while you're down there, uh, why don't you take a look at the new Model Year 19 Chillax ratcheting seat as well? Ratcheting seat, all right. Let's see. How about that? So then you just all the way forward and it goes back down. Also noticing it's at the same angle as the uh, Skybox seat backs. That's correct. Brian, all these vinyl and seating changes are incredible. I'm still seeing a lot of other things that look different to me. W what else is new? Well, from all year 19, we also shifted a new speaker grill designs. So it's a little bit more edgy, um, a little bit more on the you know trailer wheel benchmark. So it really ties the access product across the board. Um, we also offer a new satin finish in white and satin finish black um, with the tower speakers. They come in eight and a 10 inch option for Model Year 19, and we redid the speaker grills for those as well. Uh, another addition is the cell phone holder up on the dash. Um, it's an aluminum part, Axis logo branded on it. Um, it's nice, clamps onto any cell phone on the marketplace. Um, it really gives you uh, the ability to have your cell phone right there um, as you're driving the helm. A lot of our competitors buy over-the-counter handles. We didn't. We actually went in, designed it. It's got black anodized upper and lowers and casted centerpieces with billet hardware trim. Uh, some of the other options that you have for Axis products um, is the board racks. We have a price point board rack that's black anodized standard, and then we have an upgrade feature. It's this new PTM edge rack. This rack's pretty cool. Just pull the pin, opens it up, Axis branding right in the center, uh, and large openings so you can put wake surfers in there, you put regular surfboards in there, wake foils, wake boards, water skis, you name it, and this thing will, will handle it. Brian, the engineering and the design team just absolutely knocked this one out of the park. The A22 has always been outstanding. It's even better now. Really appreciate you taking the time to come out and walk through some of it with us. Yeah, no problem. We're super hyped on the product as well. Um, I think in the direction we're taking it, it's going to be a good change for Axis and also uh, for the A22 itself moving forward in different model years. Your day on the lake requires a lot of gear. And here at Malibu and Axis, we understand that. That's why when we designed this all new A22, we made sure there was plenty of storage. For most of our competitors, it's actually an afterthought. Let's take a quick look. Notice you've got deep storage all the way around with finished fiberglass on the bottom, so it's easy to keep clean. There's also plenty of room for everything you're gonna need on the lake. Buoys, life jackets, wakeboards, you name it. On the starboard side, there's a built-in spot for the cooler. And on the port side, you'll notice that you have communicating storage that goes from the bow all the way to the back of the boat. So guys, joining me on the back of this all new A22 is Axis athlete, Tony Carroll. Tony, I know you've had some opportunity to spend some time behind this boat. Tell me a little bit about what you like about it. Yeah, um, I mean, the Axis A22 is uh, completely redesigned for 2019, and what they've done is just incredible. Uh, the wake is something you've come to expect from the A22 in the past, uh, maybe a bit bigger now. They've, they've changed the hole a bit, so it's pushing a bit more water, and it's got that nice, smooth transition that leads to the lip at the top, popping you exactly what you want on a wakeboard, um, getting all that height. Uh, as far as the surf wave, uh, Malibu and Axis are next to none when it comes to surfing, um, but they've improved a little bit on the uh, surf gates that are there. They're a little bit bigger, so you're pushing a bit more water, creating that nice smooth wave. And um, if you look down, you'll kind of notice that uh, the platform has been adjusted as well. Um, it just leaves some more room for the wave to form even bigger and better than before. So uh, I'm really excited about the new A22. I also see you got something on your wrist here. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, the new surf band, or uh, the surf band that's been around for a while with Axis. Um, as of last year, we have eight buttons, so if you can find somebody to put the throttle down and uh, steer for you, you can pretty much do everything from the back. And uh, with the wedge and the different surf gates, it's so customizable from uh, someone who's beginning, maybe needs a little bit smaller of a wave, you can mellow it out and, uh, you know, they're not gonna fall off of the wave or anything like that. And then someone who's super advanced, you wanna switch sides, ride backside, pop on over it with the push of a button, and it's right there. All while you're back there surfing. All while you're surfing. Tony, you mentioned the uh, versatility and the adjustability of these axis wakes and waves. Tell me a little bit about what you mean there. Well, I mean, it, it all starts, um, you know, obviously from the hole, but uh, when, you, when you're able to adjust everything, 
on the A22, you've got so many different tools. You've got an auto wedge, you also have the optional power wedge, you've got the surf gates on either side, and you have the ballast along with plug and play that you can add on top of that. So all of those things combined make it super easy to adjust from someone who maybe I'm out there teaching uh, and they're brand new, they've never gotten up before. So you don't really want to intimidate them. So you just have the auto wedge engaged, um, maybe no ballast in the back. Um, as they start to get better, get the hang of it, uh, you fill the internal ballast up. That's gonna make the wave, wave nice and big. Um, for them and, and good for them to learn. But then when you're starting to get into the advanced, like me and my buddies, we're putting everything in there. We're getting the optional plug and play on top. We've got the power wedge set to multiple different settings depending on your side. Um, and that's really cool because you can adjust which side is, is steeper, which side's longer, um, you know, everything you want to do, like all personal preference, again, from your wrist and uh, all while you're out there. That's amazing, Tony. So I got one more question for you. What's your favorite thing about Axis? Oh, that's easy. I mean, I'm, I'm Axis head to toe. Um, out of the back end with Axis, you're gonna get everything you need with the wake and wave to take you from a beginner all the way up to my level as a professional. Um, and then once you get into the inside, you're gonna get an amazing boat, amazing build quality for a great price uh, without all the excess bells and whistles. So I, um, it's the brand that I really like. Tony, that's awesome. Thanks for coming out and spending some time with us. Guys? Thanks for joining me today to take a look at this all new A22. Be sure to stop by your local Axis dealer and find out why we say this boat is all thriller and no filler.